What's up YouTube? This video is going to be a continuation of working on the Impreza that had a really bad vibration in it. Uh, I've got parts to do a right front caliper, some new brake pads. So yeah, I'm really hoping I install these parts and it takes care of the issue completely. I'm just going to make sure everything's lubed up really well, everything's free and, and moving, and uh, hopefully she doesn't have to continue on trying to figure out what this problem is and and the calipers actually causing this mad vibration. If it happens to be something else, I, I think I'll chase after this, this, the rear prop shaft next. I would actually drop it down and check the U-joints, see how well they move. Uh, but yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put you through another brake install video. There's a few of them on my channel already. I've put calipers on a two, two, three cars. Yeah, three videos or something like that. So I'm not gonna put you through that again. Um, so this might be a rather short video, but it's just going for those drives and confirming whether or not this problem is fixed. I don't, I don't want her to have to uh, worry about it. And if and if there's still a safety concern or something else is going on with the car, then I want it taken care of um, if she's willing to do it. So yeah, I'm going to bang on these parts, and whether I run into a problem, maybe I'll turn on the camera and and go over what it, what it, what else I might find but I, I doubt I'm gonna find anything I'm just gonna do the brake job as normal as can be and uh, bleed out the caliper go for a drive and at that point that's when I'll definitely set you guys up and hopefully we don't hear anything <laughs> crazy okay so the brake job is all done uh, didn't have any other problems everything went straight forward uh, I got this caliper off the pistons even appear clean but these guys will not budge. Yeah, I get the camera going down on kind of like that, maybe. And that's with all my might. Oh, pistons are sea solid. Now, if this was your own car, you might actually get away with sticking this into a vise and trying to crush the piston in there, and it may actually release. It may still be reusable. The pist piston seals may leak after doing something like that. You can crack a case doing that. Um, but if you're in a jam, can't get a caliper, whatever the case may be, it is possible to do something like that. And when we get into when I get into uh, rebuilding some WRX two piston calipers, uh, I, I'm going to have a, a, quite a bit of work to to try and get those to free up and. You'll get to see that in a future video. So I get everything finished, the calipers bled, wheels are torqued, I'm ready to go for my drive and just hope that this car goes well and I don't hear or feel any kind of problem. Okay, I'm all finally set, ready to go. Uh, I've got something kind of jammed into the license plate because it, I suspect it was making some type of rattle noise. So I've got it... Uh, kind of a little insulation and in behind the license pr plates around or the license plate cover I should say to and try and get rid of the rattle noise when, it, when we get on it on the highway this car has been really slow starting and it seems like it's a starter starting to go in it like but when I looked this has the original battery in it and it's got to be 10 years old or more so that's pretty amazing for a battery uh, that is a little bit more common here the temperatures don't get so cold and not so hot so it's very moderated and this vehicle doesn't have a ton of mileage I see someone got his SDI back okay so I'm on the highway and we're, we're pretty much at speed now brakes feel really good uh, I noticed prior to the brake job I guess the brake pedal quite quite hard feeling and now it's just uh, it feels not spongy but it just feels like you're applying the brakes uh, not just like stomp and like hard as a rock and that's just because the calipers already seated when it's seized on and you won't get a lot of application feel from the pedal if you got a seized caliper so you may actually be wondering like well, why does it only happen for like 10 minutes at a time? And uh, 
how could some, how could a brake caliper be seized intermittently like and what's actually happening is the caliper is actually moving by thousands of an inch but it's only able to come on more and more and more it's not going to release itself and as it comes on really hard after a good brake press that pad material that might just be a couple thousands will take time to wear off because it's it's basically interfering with part of the rotor as it swings around and as it gets machined off by just spinning freely on the highway or whatever it smoothens out and the caliper just gets a little, maybe a thousandth between the pad and the the rotor surface and just that little bit of clearance will make it release that little bit and 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 the car will drive smooth again till the next hard braking. I'm still getting the slightest little bit of that little buzzing, rattling noise in the back. Uh, but I feel that it's changed a lot, so it probably is that license plate's around just doing this little shake in the wind or something. The strangest things will give you noise and they'll make you think something else is going on, but uh, I remember diagnosing a taxi cab he had this strange noise on the highway and when I started listening to it and putting my ear to it I kept on putting my ear towards the roof and what it actually was was his roof light for his taxi light it had these straps that kind of strapped it to the roof of the car and they were flapping in the winds causing amazing amount of noise and uh, so I think I just zip tied them or down or I don't know I can't remember exactly what I did but it took care of that and uh, so the strangest things will make you seem like you have a mechanical problem, but it could be something that's additionally added to the car. It could be an antenna, some kind of light up in the front. If something's put on the car and it comes loose, you're going to assume it's like your suspension or the exhaust or something else. So the, the buzzing noise is coming back. I, I would have to say it's probably not the license plate. It seems to be just the same as it was before. You can't hear it right now. Um, the other thing, the other noise and vibration that was so heavy and it was even shaking the camera, uh, it's completely gone. I haven't felt it yet. I'm basically taking the exact same drive that I did that, that first time that it really happened to me. And I'm going to, uh, I'm going to make a hard stop just like I did, make a U-turn, drive back. And, uh, I'm confident that that caliper is the cause of that issue. I think right here we're gonna go for a nice hard stop. It just feels awesome. No problem whatsoever. So something that I first suspected to be a drive shaft or a U-joint turned out to be a brake caliper. So what I can suggest and recommend is if you can't pinpoint a problem, just do a general inspection of a vehicle. You're bound to find something that's either more of a concern or something that's relatable to your issue. And you can go on 20 drives, you can have a guy sitting in the back listening to noise and still not actually pinpoint what it is. Uh, some things are very difficult to define. I've been doing this for close to 20 years and I was ready to call that drive shaft. But because I took the extra time and just did a little inspection on the car, finding that brake caliper seized, definitely a concern, definitely a safety concern, needs to be done. Taking care of it, sure enough, is taking care of this the whole problem in this car. Not only will you save yourself the time and aggravation, you'll save the, the person who owns the car time and money, which is a big thing in auto repair. So yeah, I'm glad I got that figured out. Got the right part on the car the first time and uh, properly corrected it, properly diagnosed it. Uh, her next concern, apart from these underlying noises like the buzzing noise in the back, not a big deal but it's definitely gonna be a battery. The battery's pooched. The car barely starts as it is. I can't believe it turns over. Um, and it's obviously charging well and maintaining just enough cranking amps to actually turn the starter motor. But uh, I don't think it's gonna last this winter. Um, so it's something that's gonna to have to definitely be replaced in the very, very near future. 
Um, so yeah, apart from that, I uh, definitely had some ISP problems last week. My my upload went to like 20 kilobytes per second upload. Uh, had full max download, and I I realized, I thought there was a problem with my modem. I've had the modem for quite a few years. When I contacted the ISP, they told me there was no no problems on their end, and that they would book an appointment to send a technician out. And then uh, the following day, I mean, not only is the upstream fixed and I have full full upload, but it's twice as fast as before. And uh, the same with the download. So I'm not quite sure what's happened, but it's definitely happened on their end. And uh, I'm just going to call and cancel the appointment. I don't need to take half a day off work to try and wait for someone to come to my house and fix something that's not broke. So uh, I may actually get another video up this week as possible. Uh, not that I have them piling up or anything, but um, I have a quick one to make. The exhaust did arrive for the Impreza, and I'd like to do an unboxing of that. And I've also got a, another vehicle that I recently worked on. Um, so I'll just uh, I'll make up the videos, and as I get them finished, they may get uploaded unless I have nothing for next week. But uh, there should still be two a week, so don't think there won't be. And I guess furthermore, uh, thanks to the new sub subscribers coming in and finding my channel, uh, some of the comments are awesome. Uh, really getting enthusiastic on where the potential my channel has and uh, I'm hoping big things for the future it's all I can do um, but I need your guys' help before, to do it I've asked you in the past but uh, if you like this video definitely give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already hit the subscribe button for me leave your questions and comments further down below and I'll see you in the next one